What's happening guys? This is Dan with the Kill Battalion and we are here with a special video for you. Today was a big day in the world of Destiny. Um, Zer dropped in on us on a Tuesday via Instagram and uh, previewed six new exotic Taken King items that we will have. So you're currently looking at the first reveal. So we're going to go through them real quick, see what we're thinking about them. Uh, give a little bit of an explanation, maybe some thoughts on them, and uh, just give you a preview. So, the first one that came up was the Empyrean Bellicose. It's an exotic titan helmet. Um, looks kind of like a bug, a little bit, but it's got some pretty cool etching on the helmet around in the middle. A um, little bit of a vent for the mouth. I don't see any eye holes, so it's one of those like the Helmet Saint 14 where they can't really see. But the uh, exotic titan helmet description is, This barely understood Golden Age technology once held aloft the floating gardens of Pomona Mons. Now it's stopping bullets. In the description uh, from Zer, it says, I have information, but I do not yet. I do not know yet if you are the one it's meant for. Titans, fly like the shadows with the Empyrean Bellicose. Aiming your weapons while in the air will hold you in place for a short time. Orbs collected when your super is full will recharge your melee ability. So essentially, uh, obviously, melee gets uh, recharged from orbs. That's kind of a cool perk. And uh, it looks like it gives you the same um, perk as the su uh, Sunsinger Warlock class. Uh, where you can hover in midair, um, so that's something interesting. Um, nothing crazy. I mean, it kind of looks like the other, a lot of the other Titan helmets, and I'm not blown away, but you know, that's the first. I'm sure there's many more this came from. Uh, next up was the Chaperone, the shotgun that looks kind of like a wolf. The Chaperone. Uh, an exotic shotgun. My mother had a shotgun we called the Chaperone. Kept us alive out there before we had to go to the city from Amanda Holiday. Uh, the description is, you must adapt to persist, Guardian. The Chaperone exotic shotgun fires a single slug shot and grants an agility boost when equipped. Your precision kills will grant a brief increase to handling, range, rate of fire, and stability. So uh, this is a, a cool one. It's got a very ornate uh, barrel here. Looks like a, almost like a, like a hand cannon, but bigger. Um, doesn't really like a two-handed shotgun, but uh, it looks pretty awesome. Um, I like the agility boost for a shotgun. That's pretty cool. And also, your uh, the boost you get for a precision kill are pretty substantial. Handling, range, rate of fire, and stability. So, basically, you can seems like you can go on a a, a a killing spree here. This is pretty interesting. I like this one a lot. Um, intrigued to see what that one's all about. Next up, we had my personal favorite of the group. The Alchemist Raiment, uh, the exotic warlock chest. Uh, so, to reshape the world piece by piece, thought by thought, all it takes is a little reshuffling of particles. The description from Destiny, Warlocks. Reshape the world and turn iron to gold with the Alchemist Raiment. Uh, collecting primary ammo will give you a chance to gain glimmer. Orbs collected when your super is full recharge your grenades and melee. So basically, um, this is a, this is a pretty interesting one. Basically, gives you a lot more money for collecting ammo. So if you're if you're already past your primary ammo limit, I'm guessing that means you get more glimmer out of that. And uh, orbs collected by your super, or when your super's full, give you extra grenade and melee damage. So if you're a guy who chucks a lot of grenades, um, I mean, if you, I'm, I'm just thinking if you're the sun singer, and you already have the three grenades or two grenades rather, the gift of the sun, you can be chucking grenades a lot um, if you're picking up. Uh, orbs during a super streak, so you can just go crazy in that. Um, I kind of like it. I love the look of it, the uh, the blue and black lights. First thing I thought was combine that with Obsidian Mind, and the uh, and the black shader we'll be getting from the year one, if you're a year one participant, and that's uh, that's pretty excellent. Alright, next up we had Telesto, not to be confused with Tiesto. It's an exotic fusion rifle. At first when I saw this, I thought it was a sidearm, but it is an exotic fusion rifle. Vestiges of the Queen's Harbingers yet linger among Saturn's moons. Uh, Destiny's description. An end will come, Guardian. Uh, bring it about sooner with Telesto, a vestige of the Queen's Harbor... Har I think they spelled it wrong in this. Harbingers. <laughs> the description spelled it wrong. Um, this fusion rifle will attach projectiles to your foes and detonate with a delayed void blast. Multi-kills with this weapon will drop orbs for your allies. So, multi-kills, obviously a big one. Um, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, this is the Needler. Essentially, this is Bungie's Destiny version of the Needler. Shoots projectiles that explode once they're uh, attached to a person. So this will be the Needler for the new game. I was kind of wondering when one would come around, but clearly we got one now. Um, seems like a good one for a um, strike or a uh, raid. If you're trying to get orbs for everyone, just do a bunch of kills with this bad boy and... Uh, and you get a bunch of orbs for your teammates. This is a pretty neat one. I'd like to see how it goes. It's very plain looking, very white. Um, white and gold it looks like, but I like it. 
Uh, next up, this was just the Destiny. Uh, if you tagged your friends off the Instagram, off this, your fire team, you can potentially win uh, a Taken King Collector's Edition for you and two friends for PlayStation 4. Next weapon, Sealed Ahamkara Grass. Now, I think this one's pretty interesting. Uh, the exotic hunter gauntlets, plating the Ahamkara bones in silver, uh, helps quiet the auditory hallucinations Obera mine. The description from Destiny, Hunters, these sealed Ahamkara grasps are filled with nightmare fuel. They will provide you with an additional melee charge, and your melee damage will have a chance to reload your primary weapon. So basically, you punch someone, maybe get a chance at a full reload. Um, so basically, desperation mode, maybe in PvP or in uh, PvE. And then um, an additional melee charge, so you get two, two solid pumps out of your attack. This is, to me, um, seemingly one of the year two items. I would guess this is one of the ones that if you have Claws of Ahamkara for your hunter, um, you go and take your legendary marks. I believe it was 125 was the upgrade cost. But you basically take that and uh, and parlay it into a upgraded version. So it's a little metallic version, of, metallic looking version of the Claws of Ahamkara. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think they're trying to get more legs out of the uh, maybe the exotics that didn't get used so much. Like No Land Beyond. I know that's one of the ones that got an upgrade. So uh, Next up. Sleeper, stim uh, sleeper Simulant. This is the new class of weapon. Um, heavy Fusion Rifle. Uh, I'm not even going to bother reading that because it looks like code, so it's like subroutine, Icolo, status complete. Uh, it's just a little thing of that. But Destiny's description, I cannot endure this place any longer before I depart a final offer for you. Sleeper Simulant. A Fusion Rifle equipped in your heavy weapon slot. This weapon's lasers tear through enemies and ricochet on hard surfaces. So this is the new class of weapon in this game, um, in this expansion, the heavy fusion rifle. Um, there's no debating that the gun looks just awesome. It's so cool looking. Um, it almost looks like, um, oh, what's the Titan gloves? It's like the uh, AHS, I forget what they're called. But they look like those glass-plated uh, gloves that the Titan has. Um, I'm very intrigued to get my hands on this. I feel like this is basically the rail gun. Um, it's going to be high risk, high reward. If you miss, you're probably leaving yourself open uh, for some issues. But um, this is a pretty nifty one. I kind of am into this. Um, that was the last one. So if you wanted to get more information, I don't know if they're done as of yet, but I haven't seen one in quite a bit. So this was uh, following Destiny the Game um, on Instagram. Uh, if you like what you saw here, uh, give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. Check out our comments in the comments section. I want to hear what you guys have to think about these new uh, about these new exotics. Do you like the upgrade process? Do you like the new class? Um, are you into the new stuff? Like the, uh, the perks cool for you? Honestly, I'm a little underwhelmed with some of the perks of these new ones because they seem very much like the year one perks. But um, I, uh, I was talking to a buddy earlier, and my opinion is for every nonsense exotic we had in the first round, like No Land Beyond, there was an Icebreaker or a Gallahorn or whatever. So you had, you know, plenty. I'm sure they're not giving away the ranch here with all their excellent exotics coming in year two. So um, thank you guys for watching. Again, if you like what you saw here, like, subscribe on YouTube. Give us some comments in the comments section. Check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash thekillbattalion. And follow us on Twitter, at killbattalion. You'll find when we go live on Twitch and when we post new videos to YouTube. Also, for a new little uh, extra, um, we're doing Extra Life this year. Um, so November 7th, starting at 8 a.m., we're going to be streaming for 24 hours on twitch.tv slash thekillbattalion. Uh, if you like uh, what we're doing here uh, and you want to uh, help us contribute to a really good cause, it's for, uh, it's for helping kids out. You know, uh, sick, sick children is never a horrible cause. So if you feel like visiting our page, look up the Kill Battalion on Extra Life. We'll have an official uh, link up there soon. But I know it's a while, it's a while, long way out, but you know, this is something we're really interested in doing. So we'll be doing that all day. So follow along for more details for that. Um, until next time, we will see you guys later. Have a good night.